What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Michaela Njimi. Go by Mac Njimi on all social media platforms. You can find me on TikTok, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Snapchat, if you'd like. I don't post a lot on Snapchat. I did post something funny on Snapchat today. But my favorite platform of them all, you can find me here on YouTube. So if you are here, you're one of my favorites. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. As you guys know, it's been a pretty chaotic week for me. I have been moving, trying to make content simultaneously as I'm moving. And I also came down with a little cold during all of it. So that was really just the icing on the cake. And then of course, Grace came down with the cold. For this week's Monday video, I don't have a lot of time to give you guys for something really cool or a long vlog. I figured I would just sit down, have a little chat with you guys, a good old fashioned q and A. I haven't done in a minute since we have a lot of new people here. Wanted to give you guys an opportunity to ask me questions. Today I'm actually gonna be answering questions from my Instagram. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at MacNjimmy, as I said earlier. Um, I asked you guys to send me Q&A questions and so I'll be gathering all my questions for this video from that platform today. But that being said, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Look how cute this little guy is. I found him today when I was shopping for suits for a wedding and Grace has wanted one of these for a while so I got her one. It like flips. Oh, but we want it on the happy side. We're happy because we're making a Q&A. What will I name you? I'm thinking like squeak, gouache, rascal. We'll let Grace name you. Grace is your rightful owner. You can sit right there, hang out for the Q&A. Let's get right into it, you guys. Wow, you guys had a lot of questions to ask. That's weird, I'm still not used to people like following me on Instagram, so. Anyway, first question, what's the best song to listen to with your girlfriend? I would probably for that have to go with Crimson and Clover. She might have a different answer to that, but Crimson and Clover, Crimson and Clover has always been our song. I love that song as well. I can't play it for you guys because the video would get demonetized, but um, I can, I can sing a verse of it if I can find the guitar. I found the guitar. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I don't hardly know. You guys get it. I'm done. I'm, I'm not a musician. I can't sing. Let's forget that that just happened, that mess. Um, would you ever come to Brazil? I'd love to after all of this COVID junk is over with. Will I make a new house tour video? Sure, after I move into my actual apartment. Uh, long story short, basically what happened, our apartment was supposed to be done by June 1st. They told us that now it's not gonna be done until Jul July 1st. Um, so we have to move twice. So this is our temporary apartment while we're waiting for our other apartment to get finished. So you know the vibes. Not a question, but after you finish playing The Last of Us 1 and 2, you need to play Life is Strange. I'm actually gonna play Life is Strange before we play part two. A lot of people said to do that. A new gaming video will be coming out soon, guys. They're not gonna be coming out every single week, um, but it'll be kind of sporadic that they come out. Which YouTuber would you most like to meet? Ooh, either Elle Mills or Shannon Beveridge. Shannon Beveridge is just the OG. You guys know I'm obsessed with Shannon. Uh, but Elle Mills is like, from a filmmaker perspective, I love her style. She's just a cool lady and I want to I want to learn from her and work with her and see how her brain works when she's making creative stuff. She's really cool. Do I know my MBTI? I think that's your like Myers Briggs maybe. I I used to but I forgot. So comment down below if you guys want me and Grace to make a video where we take that test and learn what it is. Stupid question. No questions are stupid. Uh, you are a videographer, but don't you like photography? Or why do you not like photography? Um, so I have mentioned before that I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge photographer. 
Uh, I am very into videography. I think a lot of people don't realize that they're two very different things. You can love videography and not be great at photography, which is how I would say that I am myself. Videography for me, I am in love with movement. I'm in love with moving the camera, um, shooting things in action, making sequences out of movement and people. I really think it's movement that draws me to videography over photography. I can appreciate really good pictures. Um, I love looking at pictures that my friends that take pictures have taken. But personally for me, freezing something in a moment is not my specialty. I like, I like moving sequences. I like capturing motion through a camera, if that makes sense. So that would be my answer to that. Finally, the story time about the time that you and Grace hooked up in front of Caitlin. I knew this one was coming. Cover your ears, little one. So, the first time me and Grace ever kissed um, was in front of our very good friend, Caitlin. Shout out, Caitlin. We had been out all night, and we were all laying on the bed. It was like 2 a.m., and I really wanted to kiss Grace. She looked hot, I was feeling her. It's like, I'm finally just gonna do this. Can you hear? Better not be able to hear. So I was like, Caitlin, can you get up and change the song? Because we were all listening to music, kind of jamming out. And Caitlin was like, yeah. And she got up to change the song and I just like rolled over really quick and uh, kissed Grace. Grace will tell you that I missed her lips, that I got her like here. I think I nailed it. I think I got it perfect. You guys know how smooth I am with the ladies. I think I really nailed one on her. But anyway, uh, Caitlin turned around and we were kissing. And so we had been caught. Oh, crap. We had been caught. Anyway, we spent the rest of the night making out on the couch. Uh, Caitlin was there for that as well, but she was asleep, so. Favorite place to shop? Your style is an inspiration. Thank you. Um, I have gotten a lot more into styling myself lately. I would say I kind of shop from all over. I really like just basic pieces. I don't like anything really flashy. I really love H&M, Target. My best advice would be to like, Mix it up, don't be afraid to go into the men's section for stuff. My problem with the men's section is a lot of it's just too big for me. Like I probably couldn't buy pants from the men's section. Uh, but I can sometimes find t-shirts that fit me. But don't be afraid to like go into the men's section, go into the women's section, whatever. I don't know why clothing has a gender still. How old am I? I am 22 years old. I'm a fresh 22 year old. My favorite character from the whole Marvel universe, probably Captain Marvel. I love, I'm a Captain America stan as well though. I love, I love the captains. I love all the captains. What was my gay awakening? I don't want to be basic, but it was Missy Peregrine from Stick It. I don't have one singular moment, you know? But it was definitely uh, another one would be Sharpay from High School Musical. I thought it was so hot the way that she was just like all over Troy all the time. I was like, if I was Troy, I was never into Gabrielle. I was like, I want Sharpay. I want the bratty blonde girl that is like your arm candy and just like always all over you. I loved Sharpay. So anyway, yeah, Megan Fox, Missy Peregram, just girls girls in general. Do I know any TikTok dances? No, I cannot dance. That singing of me earlier, my dancing abilities match that, so. How to overcome the fear of being in a public lesbian relationship, like getting hate? Okay, Emily, I'm not sure if you mean online or if you mean like walking around town with my girlfriend, but I guess I can address kind of both of them. Fear, I think I've had just moments in my life where I've been really scared of that and then realized that in that situation there was nothing to be afraid of. At least from my experience, a lot of people will just mind their own business if, they, if it is something that they have a problem with. A lot of people won't say anything. If I see somebody staring, I just stare back at them until they look away. It's important to learn to have confidence in yourself, to be confident in who you are. You know, I'm not telling you guys you have to be out and proud. It's great to be out and proud, but unfortunately for a lot of people, it's not safe. And I think that's overlooked a lot, and I hate that about gay culture. This underlying pressure that you have to be out of the closet if you need to be a part of the community, if you want to be proud. You can be proud and you can still be quiet, you know? I'm not telling you guys to be quiet, but I'm saying if your safety is at risk, that's the most important thing. If you're not ready to come out, that is also very important, you know? Um, so it's just important, I think, to assess different situations. And first question, am I safe right now? Is this a safe situation? If yeah, it's a safe situation, it's just a disagreement with somebody, 
that sucks, but you know, it's like not everybody is always gonna agree with you 100% of the time. Um, so I think it's just learning to be confident in yourself and who you are. This goes for everything in your life. This goes for all of your beliefs, all of your opinions, all of your quirks about yourself. You need to be confident in those quirks because nobody is gonna do that for you, right? I have my partner and she is very supportive of me, very confident in me, but I have to be confident in myself if I want that to translate outside of my life. A motto that I love is act confident and no one will question you. So when I'm out in public, when I'm with my girlfriend, if my girlfriend's holding my hand, you better believe that my shoulders are back, my chest is out. I'm walking with good posture, I'm walking with strength, I'm walking with confidence. Even if you don't feel confident in that moment, pretend like you are and the confidence follows, right? So if I'm feeling a little bit nervous about something, I just act confident. That's something that's helped a lot, especially with my anxiety disorder that has helped. I think I kind of went off on a tangent there. Grace is on her way home, so I think you guys might see Grace. Favorite Tegan and Sarah song? You guys know it's closer. You know it's closer. Advice to move on from an ex. That's really hard, and it's hard for me to answer that for you guys because my exes have been like hush hush. Uh, girls that I've been with, I haven't actually been with because they were closeted. In a way that kind of makes it harder because you can't publicly grieve. And you know, expressing grief is a form of therapy when you're getting over somebody. But the best piece of advice I could give you for that is that it's just gonna take time. Hey, how are you doing? I'm filming a QA. <laughs> yeah. You wanna be in it? Oh, what is that? Did you buy one of those? This is for you. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted one. <laughs> no, I didn't That's know. That's how I feel. I did. Really? Yeah. Good. <laughs> how do you come out to homophobic parents? That's a great question. My best advice for that would be that you shouldn't always come out to homophobic parents. I think you should ask yourself if you're safe. Um, if, if they're gonna take away things that are important to you. I know I've had some followers tell me that their parents have threatened to take away phones or other, like a form of transportation, stuff like that. Um, if that's the case, don't feel like you need to, but if you choose to, I, I my best piece of advice would be to just give them time to process it the same way that you've needed time to process it for yourself. Is Grace ever gonna get a mullet? Oh, I actually just got one. Like you are so fucking cute. Hi. Oh. I'm here. No, you've all been waiting. Oh crap! On me. This sucks because I'm mic'd up. Oh. How to get over the fear of asking a girl out? Just do it. Nike Just that. Do it. Nike that. Come on. The Just worst do she's it. gonna say is, is no. Is no. And, and then you, you know. Exactly. If you never do it, you'll never know, and then you have the weight of that on your entire yeah. life. This one says, what's your opinion on buy erasure, and is it a real issue? I think it's absolutely a real issue. Being, me being bisexual, I remember my mom talking about it and her being like, oh, I just don't think they found the right person yet of the opposite gender. Or like, people will comment on her channel and sometimes be like, Oh, she's bi, so she's just gonna like leave you for a man because she's not gonna be satisfied. Or like, are you sure you're not a lesbian? That's super like, are you ironic. sure you're not straight? Like, it's just, <clears throat> it's absolutely a real thing, and it's it's an awful thing. But it's you know, personally, it doesn't get me down that much. As someone in the comments of my last video put it, she is max sexual. <laughs> I am max mm -hmm. sexual. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you comment down below if you have questions for future Q&As. Sorry this video wasn't uh, up to usual par, but it has been a busy oh, week sure as I explained to you guys. So I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday video. And now it's time to make Grace dinner. What are we having? I don't know, what would you want to try? Did you somewhere? go to the store? I did. I did the dishes. Do you want to go to the store? We can, sure. Okay. All right. Peace. Bye. Do your thing.